breaking no. Beast of the week, breaking no. Beast of the week, got the game ball. Watch that, y'all. Come and count. Beast of the week. Mr. High School Holler coming to you live from Trinity Leadership Cedar Hill. And with me, the head man of the Tigers, Coach Adams. Coach, how you doing this afternoon? Doing great. Enjoying this hot weather. Very tropical. And it is hot. I ain't going to keep you out here for too long. Let's talk about it. You being able to come back home after two to three years over in Oklahoma coaching high school football, you return back to Soto alum. How has it been to be able to come back to a DFW and become a head football coach? That's been a dream come true. I've always going to cherish those three years I had at Frederick Douglass on the east side of Oklahoma City, but it feels some, it feels really good to come back to City Hill Trinity. Uh, this is my home church, and my alma mater is right down the street. And my mom is about four blocks away, so it's a great thing. So just talk about that, being able to come back, not just to coach football, but being part of your home church and just really the journey in regards to that. God is good. So my first head football coach in Texas, I get to do it at home. It's a dream come true. Growing up, even though I wore green and gold, my church was uh, blue and white. So to get be a Trinity Tiger is a dream come true. Okay, so along with that, this being your first year as a head coach, what were some of the first things that you need to establish with the student athletes? Uh, number one is academics. Academics and character counts. Uh, so basically, character beats out athlete any day of the week. We want to make sure academics is top priority. We want kids going to school if they don't play football. Uh, we want to make sure our kids have a chance to be successful to citizens of society. That's our number one goal. Okay, you know, and of course, with this job, a team that transitioned from private school ball to UIL ball, how has that been and just the pros and cons with that process? Well, the pros for me is I've always been in the public school sector. So the really the adjustment is, you know, going from a private school for so many years to a public school, uh, just basically help facilitating the transition has been pretty, pretty, actually pretty good. That's a shout out, it's a testament to my principal, athletic director, Troy Williams, head principal, Erica Prox, uh, Mr. Hennessy, our, our site superintendent, and uh, Adrian Hawkins, our campus coordinator. They've been very compliant with the UIL, and it's been a smooth transition this year since I've been aboard. All right, you know, there are different things when it comes to private school athletes, public charter athletes. Who are some of the student athletes we need to watch out for that are really going to tear the city up this year? Well, goodness, I think you just talked to two of them. K.J. McKnight is a senior uh, All-American for academics, and we have Colin Thomas, number one. He's probably going to win uh, He's going to win first district, first team all district, so positives. Colin, let us know what we can expect from the Tigers this year, and what are some goals for yourself? You can expect a lot of big things. We're also going to make a run for state. Uh, we have a lot of dogs on the offensive side, such as Jamal Sullivan, Jamar Smalls, Chase Ward, and also Seth Cook, and, other, and a lot of other guys also. So what are some of the goals for yourself? Some of the goals for myself, I would go for 12 touchdowns and over 1,000 yards. KJ, let us know what we can expect from that Tigers defense this year. And with you being an academic All-American, balancing education and sports. I'm going to be completely honest. On the defensive side of the ball, we're looking to shut a lot of people down and just prove everybody wrong. We've been doubted so much this year. I'm just tired of the talking, and we just want to prove everybody what we have on, the, on that side of the ball. And as for balancing school and sports at the same time, it could be a challenge, but I'm mentally tough and spiritually sound. God has blessed me with the ability to do so, and I'm just ready to show everybody what we have. And we got a good offensive line. We got Seth Cook, a 1,400-pound weightlifter. So he's also a power lifter also. He also throws a shot in discus, also has sits with a 3.5 GPA. So we have well-rounded athletes here. As you said before, we're moving from private to public, and we have all public school kids. So that's what we have. And where we raise, we got what we got and we're developing our athletes. All right, and this is one thing I wanted to throw out here too because we see how it looks a little bit different around these things. What are just some of the changes that you did, especially organizational-wise? Well, organizational-wise, we're just trying to get the campus up to UIL standards. You know, when you're in private school, there's certain things you have, but when you get to public, there's certain things other public schools have. So right now, we're in the process of renovating our stadium, renovating our weight room, renovating our locker rooms. We want to get on par. We thought we had great facilities before. We're trying to make them even better. And so I'm gracious to have Texas leadership supporting us, and we have a host place of Trinity Church behind us. So I think we got the best of both worlds. All right, Coach, Friday Night Lights right around the corner. Tell everybody what they can expect from Trinity Leadership Cedar Hill. Trinity Leadership, physical football. That's what we're looking for. We're going to play some physical football, try to lap the scoreboard, and play some good defense. Mm, appreciate you, Coach Adams. Thanks, man. Thanks, Ron Murray, Mr. High School Holly, K-104, number one, the community. K-104. Beast of the week. Breaking news. Beast of the week. Got the game ball. Watch that, y'all. Come on. Beast of the week. Who's making noise? Beast of the week.